Let's explain here what happens normally in AF. So in AF, let's start with our heart. So here we go. So SA node, AV node, and the conductive system. So in, in AF, we know that there is a complete insulation between the ventricles and the atria. And in AF, we will have so many foci, multiple foci above the AV node, all firing with different rates. And uh, the rate the, uh, that they're all firing with, it's going to be roughly about 300 to 600 beats per minute. So that is the rate that is happening above the AV nodes in the atria. But we've all seen patients with AF and we've never seen these rates. The Roughly what we see is about kind of, let's say, a hundred and 80 to maybe 200. That is roughly what we see uh, commonly in AF patients with fast ventricular response. And the reason behind this is because of the presence of the AV node. So the AV node is the only way for these 300 to 600 beats to reach the ventricle. And the AV node, what it does is it squashes the extra beats because yeah, the, the, the AV node, knows that the ventricle cannot really go with a rate of 600. So every extra beat will be squashed that way. And what will reach down to the ventricle is gonna be roughly about 180, 200, 220, that sort of, uh, of numbers uh, that the ventricle can tolerate. This is what happens normally in AF. But with WPW, things are a little bit different. So let's draw our heart in here. So again, SA node, AV node and normal conductive system. And let's get a different color. So we know that we have got an accessory pathway here. So we said before that in AF, you've got so many firing foci in the atria that are firing with a rate that is roughly about 300 to 600 beats per minute and because of the AV node not all of them will go down to the ventricle but with WPW there will be a split some of the impulses will go through the normal conductive system so some of them will go down the AV node route and uh, the AV node will try its best to to basically destroy as many as possible. So let's say that the AV node will manage to bring the rate down to 180, for example, at beat per minute. So that will be those who will go through the normal conductive system and the AV node. But some of them will go through the accessory pathway. So those who will go through the accessory pathway will not have an AV nodal destruction of the extra beat they will pass with a really high heart rate that is above 300. Those who will go through the normal pathway through the AV node, the outcome of them will be a normally conducted complexes. So they will look like just a narrow, narrow complexes. Uh, so narrow complex irregular tachycardia, just like any AF. While those who will go through the accessory pathway will have a myocyte to myocyte transmission in the ventricle, which will result into a broad complex, bizarre looking uh, complexes uh, with different shapes, uh, which is what we see here. So the outcome of this will be a combination of what looks like narrow complex irregular tachycardia as normal looking AF and a bizarre looking complexes that are broad or narrow uh, with a rate that is exceeding 300. And that is the main difference between AF normally and AF with WPW. And the problem happens here. You treat AF normally by giving an AV nodal drug. So if you give any drug that will slow the rate in AF normally, you will give a drug that will increase the power of the AV node, increase the blockage uh, property of it, so the 180 that will pass uh, through goes down to, let's say, uh, 90. Uh, 
this is how we treat AF normally. So we give a drug that has got an AV blocking uh, property that will uh, increase the AV nodal blockage and decrease the rate transmission through the AV node to bring the rate down. That happens with beta blockers, with calcium channel blockers, with digoxin, uh, with amiodarone, with any drug that we give to slow the rate down in AF. But if you give the same drugs in this patient with an accessory pathway, what will happen is you will block the AV node and that will mean that all the impulses will go through the accessory pathway. So you're basically blocking this pathway, shifting all the impulses that way, and this will turn the AF into VF, ventricular fibrillation. This is what you don't want to do. That's why it is absolutely contraindicated to give any rate, uh, any AV blocking drug to a patient with AF uh, with WPW, with pre-excited AF, because that will turn the AF into VF.